Is it too late to make a move to Texas or even a move within Texas? Have you missed the rush? Have you missed the opportunity? Well, I hate this answer, but it's a little bit complicated. In short, I'm going to say no. There's still tons of opportunity uh, in big cities, small towns, jobs, and all, just pretty much the full spectrum of opportunity here in the great state of Texas. But the more complex answer is some of the initial gap from West Coast, Northeast, even Midwest in Co relative cost of living and sort of the initial discovery. I mean, there's no like start point to this. People have been moving to Texas for a long time, but uh, there was a period where even the governor of Texas, Rick Perry, was running ads in California saying, come on down, things are nicer here. And of course, that just depends on what you're looking for. But, but all that to say, relative cost of living uh, has gone up a little bit in most areas of Texas, not everywhere. Now, it's gone up other places, too. So that relative term is where it gets a little complicated, where one thing compared to another thing is tough when both things are a moving target. But all that to say, there is still a massive surge of people moving to Texas from other parts of the United States, even other parts of Texas, but primarily other parts of the U.S. and then really outside of the United States. So you obviously haven't missed the boat. There's still houses here. There's still lands here, land here. There's still jobs here. There's still uh, higher education and incredible opportunity here. But uh, it's changed a little bit, right? Uh, just five years ago, we saw people moving here and buying homes on large land. Our, our real estate team specializes in homes on land. So we help a lot of people buy and sell a house with one to 10 acres uh, underneath it and around it. That's gotten a little tougher to do because those larger chunks of land are harder to come by. Certainly, if you're moving here, try to buy a farm or a ranch, even if it's recreational. If you're looking for 50 or 100 or 1,000 acres, those have become noticeably more difficult to find because that land is being bought and chunked down into smaller developable, developable spaces. So that has changed. But no, you have not missed the boat. You have not waited too late. There are still opportunities here. And again, still relative to other parts of the country and other parts of the world, the total package here is relatively affordable. Uh, you're still looking at entry-level homes in the high 200s, low 300s, homes on land in the four, five, 600 range. Obviously, you can go way, way up. And you're still seeing tremendous opportunities for colleges, universities, trade schools. Um, job. The job market here is as attractive as just about any other market in the United States with a lot of technology, oil and gas, banking, creative. We've got video game companies here. We've got, um, you know, industries and trades, you know, really running the full spectrum. Home building is booming. Land development is booming. Commercial growth is booming. After a post-COVID restaurant kind of uh, a challenge, we're seeing some expansion even in retail and entertainment and hospitality industries. So, you know, the North Texas region specifically has really, really been doing well. You look south to Houston, and oil and gas was struggling for several years, and there's been a resurgence and what looks to be a sustained uh, period of growth for the oil and gas industry, as well as many others. You look at major cities like Austin and San Antonio, and there's reason to believe there will be continued sustained growth there as well. Now, locals in those markets aren't really loving the massive growth, but if you're moving from out of the market, you happen to be someone like an Elon Musk or a Joe Rogan, then Austin seems to be looking really, really attractive. Even big companies like Apple and Facebook are increasing their presence in cities like Austin and Dallas and really all across Texas. Now you're thinking small town, you're thinking uh, a little bit more rural living. Some of the smaller towns are now mid-sized towns as we've seen massive population growth in the area. And with that comes the expansion of school districts, the expansion of our highway system. We're even seeing for the first time in a while a new lake uh, just north of DFW, Lake Bodark in the Bonham area, northeast of McKinney, where uh, our, our water systems, the demands on our infrastructure are greater than ever. And so we're seeing the installation and development of new uh, water district lakes. They'll be recreational as well. 
but just expansion and growth and opportunity all over Texas. Obviously, we are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so feel free to complain in the comments, as many of you always do, but that's where we are. That's where we have the most information, but really across the great state of Texas, it's still an unbelievably attractive place to move your family, yourself, or your company. Now, we've got another video on our channel that we did not so long ago about the incredibly attractive reasons to move a company, small, medium sized or large, to Texas, period, but especially the Dallas-Fort Worth area and how hundreds of others have done that. So make sure you check that out as well. If you have questions about moving to Texas and why it might be too late or why it may even be early for you, let us know. We had a season there where we're getting a lot of questions about video game companies. There's some video game companies based here in the DFW area with a college like University of Texas at Dallas, which has a really great motion capture lab. There's some cool things happening there. But if you have questions about any of those specifics, let us know down in the comments. We'll answer them there. Or maybe we'll shoot another video for you. Or, of course, you can reach out to our contact information below the video, and we would love to chat with you about making a move here, uh, looking at land, looking at moving a business, a family, looking at schools, looking at universities, hospitals, airports, anything we can do to help you get some more information on the area. And of course, if you want to buy or sell here, we'd love to help you do that as a brokerage. So check out our information below, comment, like, subscribe, all those good things, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.